Hey, Pepe Le Pew, talking on the throne. Let's talk about politics by being neutral about it, okay? I need to understand <clears throat> why some of you, and for both sides, I'm not going to take any side, or sometimes voting against your own interest. Some of those peoples that are in power right now, that decide our life, or actually being elected because he was able to raise a lot of money with some donors. Some of those donors all need to get paid back in somehow. Sometimes they get paid by, by if that person passed through by cutting down some regulations or tax cut or tax increase or what it is it is that the donor want them to accomplish, which is not most like most of the time, not in our best interest as a regular Joe or middle class or even poor. Okay, we have no power over that. It's only I'm drinking some some of my house is next to a river and I've been drinking the water of the river with no problems, never got sick. And so a new politician who was got bought by some kind of factory that actually let some chemical into rivers and he found his way through to cut some regulations. So that means that they can, to save money, they can cut the regulations and now the river that I've been drinking is polluted and end up by can having cancer. Now the fact the insurance is bad here, well, I'm screwed. I end up by being in the poor house and I might not survive it. And that all started because one of the politicians decided to take a handout from a lobbyist that had that factory. And the only thing the factory want to save money is to cut the regulation this way. They don't have to apply it. <clears throat> I have my advice to you. I think this country need more than two parties. I know there is more of the libertarian and green and me and Democrats and Republicans, but the money mostly is with the Democrats or the Republicans. And when I'm, I can't even talk about the, the progressive who is the, Demo, the Democrat progressive who they mostly, you people will call them their leftists or communists, which is not really the case. However, instead to vote like you go see a football game, like you vote for your team, I'm wearing red, I vote only red. When you go to a poll or vote in, and you vote for somebody, look at what they propose, what they plant, what they're for, what they believe in. That doesn't mean that they might do it or not, you know, but look, look if they have some kind of strategy how to get there. Usually people can say something that you like to hear but they don't really have a strategy how to get there. Now, if you have somebody who actually talk to you about something that you like and you go to their website and or the pentlet and they actually have a plan how to get there, maybe regardless of the party who they are, because they actually work for you, maybe you for, work for these individuals. Now, if it's only after that individual is in power, and the not doing what he promises, or maybe he's been trying, but because he's in a married minority, he try harder. You can decide at that point if you want to elect him again or not. But just don't elect somebody because they're red, blue, purple, or whatever teams they're from. They're supposed to work for you. 
okay? Also, think about people go to GoFundMe for hospital bills or because, you know, pandemic, they don't have no money to pay rent and all this. And they ask for just have some money to get the ball back run, run, running. So if people have money, they will spend money and the economy will start rolling again. You know, yes, it sounds a little communist or socialist, but it's a pandemic. All those politicians and wealthy people, yeah, they might, they might make less than a billion or less than a million in that year. However, they're not in the red, in the red. They are not, is there an, they are not going to be kicked out of their house, you know? So think about it. When you people go into politics or when you, when you go vote for somebody and you figure out that person have raised millions and billions of dollars to be elected, for me, it sickened me. It sickened me because that money should be more useful for the people. They're supposed to work for us, not for their donors. I am for, yeah, I am for, um, take the money out of politics and have small donations with the people that I, if I do politics. So for example, I mean, I mean, District 8 in Arizona, which right now our, um, our House representatives is Debbie Lesko. So said I'm running again, Debbie Lesko. <clears throat> I want donation for the people I represent. And I'll be I want a voice. I will try the best how to communicate my voice, but I will not be, I will not have the donors to respond to. The reason why? Because I didn't take their money. I'm for you guys. And don't you think about, think about, when you think about it, if somebody's sick on the, on the Facebook, say they have cancer and all this and ask for donations and they say, Oh, you beg. Oh, you don't give a dollar in the street for the beggar and all that. Yes. Yes. We beg people who have medical bills come in. Yes. We beg, but you have no problems to give money to a politicians that make more money than you. And then don't even represent what you stand for. Think about it. The next time you decide to vote is that person you vote for is person that represent you, not their donor. If you are going to give the money to them, they will do in a good use, you know? And I'm the reason why I don't mention any politician name and all this is not is beside the point. Because the political world that we live right now is toxic. And they're all guilty at some point in times. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I don't even know if, for example, I decide to run again, the Bilesco, if I even have a shot. But if I do run again, the Bilesco. I will not run as a Democrat. I will not run as a Republican or an independent or a libertarian. I will have my own party, which is the party of the people, because I will actually run for you, not for nobody else. Because I care about you. I don't care about those people who make millions and billions of dollars. I'm a simple man. And I want everybody to have a part of the cake. Ah, if you like what I said, you can like, subscribe, or donate. And I hope I see you soon.